Hearty harmy hearties and welcome to a quick guide on how to use the Q blocks modifier by the Catalyze so all credit goes to him. Now this is a program that allows you to change the welding speed in Space Engineers. It changes it, uh, changes it by a ratio uh, so it does a times two or times three and times whatever you want. Uh, so you don't change specific blocks, you change all the blocks uh, to one specific ratio. So what you'll do, you go to the description below, you will click uh, the link that is right there. It should be fairly visible, uh, probably the first thing you will see in the description. And uh, you click that, it will bring you to this place right here. Uh, and you will click this link right here, the QBlocks modifier complete. Here's the download info, which it's not, it's actually the download. Uh, and it will give you this cube release 0.5b uh, raw file. Now you can put this anywhere you like, I've put it right here. Unpackage it and you get this cube release folder. Inside this folder you can ignore everything but the main file and this main file you will run It will open open a command prompt and Inside here. It's going to ask you Where is your space engineers folder? That is the easiest way to think about it. It's actually asking uh, Where the cube blocks file is But it is in the space engineers folder so if you find that uh, and this link is correct, the content and data has to be there. Uh, if this is right, then you type yes. If it's not, then you type no and you type in the real uh, or the actual uh, link to that uh, file. But it is true, so we're going to type yes. And inside here, it gives you kind of an explanation of how you type in the numbers. Uh, so it tells you the, the way it says two times is the way you're not supposed to do it. Uh, so read this carefully if you are unsure. The easiest way to think about it is times what? How much faster? I want it to be two times faster or three times faster or five times faster. That is the absolute easiest, easiest way to think about it uh, according to my brain. Uh, but anyway, I want it to be three times faster, so I'll put in three, I'll press enter, and it's going to change everything for me, and it's done. And I press enter to close, and that's done. Uh, the welding is now three times faster. So a couple of really, really good things to know uh, when doing this is that when there is an update, uh, there is a chance that the QBlox file is modified by the devs themselves because maybe they've added a new block maybe they rebalanced the time of welding a block and if they do that something that involves the QBlox file it's going to reset everything to normal now if that is the case you log in one day and you notice that it's so slow to weld again all you have to do is go and do this one more time uh, so don't freak out if that happens Another really good thing to know is that only the host actually needs to do this. So if you're playing multiplayer and you are hosting the game, uh, only you have to do this. Your friends who are the clients joining your game, they don't have to do this uh, to get the welding speed. Uh, but when they play in a single player, uh, they will have the normal welding speed again. So it is a host uh, decided feature if you call it that and uh, the final really good thing or like to know is if you want to restore uh, the settings and if you want to restore the welding speed uh, you will have to go to your steam folder you will have to go to the space engineers content data the place where we found the cube block so you can see this here uh, this is where you need to go. This might not be the same for you. That this side should be the same for you as it is for me. You find the Q blocks and the Q blocks SBC dot back. You delete those two files. Go into Steam. Right click the Space Engineers. Go to Local Files. Verify Integrity. 
of game catch is going to uh, look over all the files in the game folder and it will see hey those two files are missing let's replace those and they will replace it with the original files which means you will have the original welding speed so that is all i have for this video i hope you enjoyed it and learned something if you did feel free to leave a like and share and leave a comment if you have any questions of course i will do my best to answer the questions that you have so uh, thank you all for watching and i shall see you next time